Good morning everyone and welcome back to day 4 of the Daily Devotional. Again I would say my name is Gemma Shepherd Williams and I am thankful to be given this opportunity to share this week's Daily Devotional by my pastors Rev. Lloyd and Norma Hart. Again we will pray. Thank you Father for another day. Thank you for your love and kindness and your tender mercies. Thank you, O oh God, for showing us which way we should go and which truth we should follow. Thank you, Lord, for today, for life, because without you, Lord, we would not have been here. Bless everything that will be said and done, O oh God. We pray that it will encourage lives today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we continue with our core scripture, John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We have covered already the way, we have covered the truth, and now today we are going to cover life. Jesus said, I am the life. The same life that he lived in times past a holy and righteous life. God is the giver of life. We recall in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 that God breathed into Adam the breath and Adam became a living soul. Our lives are a reflection of the ideas and faith or beliefs we hold in our hearts. The places or areas where we spend our time and the energy, they reveal or they show what is important to us, things that we delight in. God's word says that whosoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity and honor. Jesus in John 10.10 10, reveals to us what the enemy seeks to do. But further down he says that he is come that we might have life and not just plain life but have it more abundantly. There are 119 Bible verses that, are, that address the topic of life. Why should we value life? Psalm 103 verse 3 states, Know that the Lord himself is God, and it is he who has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 24 says, Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, and the one who formed you from the womb. I, the Lord, am the maker of all things, stretching out to the heavens by myself and spreading out the earth all alone. Everyone has at some point in time asked this question, why do I exist or what is my purpose in life? Is there even a purpose in life? And if there is, what is it? You would be amazed at some of the answers or reasons they arrive at. What does the Bible say about our purpose in life, of our purpose for living? God has given us a purpose, which is one, design, we were designed or made to glorify Him, and two, we were made to enjoy Him. The next time you seek an answers to find out your purpose in life, just remember these two. He gave you life to glorify Him and also to enjoy Him. And you can also enjoy His presence. You can seek your Bible to find out 
other things. There are so many more reasons why you are on the face of this earth because you are important to him. God bless you richly and tomorrow we are going to sum up all that we have done for the past days. Have a blessed day everyone. Thank you.